Hi, I'm Iselin Steiro um, and I'm from Norway. I have two little girls uh, with my husband and we live in Oslo. And uh, what I do, it's, uh, it's complicated. <laughs> I newly graduated as an architect, mm, but I also have a modeling career, which I have had since hmm, <laughs> 20 years. <laughs> I grew up in a town called Harstad, uh, above the Arctic Circle in the north of Norway. And uh, it's a place where nature is very much um, there all the time. Well, my childhood was uh, about hiking, fishing, um, being in the snow. So I remember the first time I went to New York. Me and my older sister, she came with me and we stayed for two weeks. The world of fashion was overwhelming, but also very much the, the city because I hadn't really been anywhere like that. Um, I had been to Oslo and once to London. <laughs> uh, but when we came back after two weeks, we had been awake for 48 hours. So we should really go to bed. But the first thing we did was to, to climb my home mountain, the mountain behind my parents' house and just uh, breathed. And when I was a child, I didn't really think about it as something special. But now I really see the value of that kind of uh, childhood. Since having kids myself, um, I see the value even more. It's like I want to give them the same experiences that I had. When going into nature with my kids now, um, it's a wonderful thing because you, you rediscover the beauty of nature. You get curious about little things that you just forgot about were exciting because you forgot to look at them. Kids, they, they force you to stay in a moment and to, oh my God, look at that caterpillar. They had never seen it before. Uh, so you are forced to look at it again and again and again. I think a really important thing is to be friends with nature, to have a relationship with those things, that you can see that it's important to take care of these things, that it's not just something you think about, but you feel it. I decided to study architecture back at high school. It was something that I felt was the only natural choice for me. Uh, I loved mathematics and physics. There are many good buildings in Oslo. Um, some of my favorites are uh, Rådhuse, um, the Y block, which was torn down by Erling Wiksjö, Bakkehøen Kirke, um, a church near my house. For my diploma project, um, my final project at school, I worked with an older building. When talking about sustainable architecture, of course it has to do with better materials and smarter technology and all these things, but it, it is also uh, an unavoidable truth that we have to take care of the buildings that we already have. And when you get to know them and get a relationship with a certain type of architecture or a certain architect, it's the same thing as getting to know the caterpillar. You have feelings about these things. I really look forward to creating something, mm. to see something you work on for a long time actually being realized. There are already things I miss about fashion, I don't think I'm closing the chapter. I'm keeping the door open. <laughs> it's a, a creative outlet in a way where I'm not thinking. It's just movement, improvisation, and like uh, it's not thought driven. It's only being. <laughs>